right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Monster. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. the other guy has. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Missed with that attempt. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, perhaps 
a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And they set it. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Place kick there by Lee. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just out of range with that left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Move and recover. Move and recover. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh. Big leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range to He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Nice straight one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside legs. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Leg kick. 30 seconds to go. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Beautiful body kick. 15 seconds remain in the round. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. You gotta check these kicks, or... You're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Chicka, chicka, chicka. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit 
with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Good punch. Right hand on point. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh! Big head kick. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Try to establish that jab. Nice leg kick land. And they separate. Nice kick. Not there. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice punch there by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Got the single collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, that right hand is on point. Look at the good action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strike. Oh, that is as good a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kid. Lands with the right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Great punch. Nice leg kick. Massive head kick. Oh, big left. Right hand upstairs. Ten seconds remain in round two. Nice jab by Lee. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. 
All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage him. of this championship fight. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him. And now he's got a hurt back. Well, he continues. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. You got to check these low leg kicks. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Lee circling towards the left side now. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Look to the head there by Lee. Punch over the top. Just out of range with the straight left. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. Nice strike. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Flush right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Right punches there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance. Over the top, this fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. They continue to exchange. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Gets up again here, but hurting. That punch no good. Lands the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful kick. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. A little single collar tie there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just out of range with that right hook. 
Look at the turtle in that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, big punch land. Unable to connect with the right. Final seconds of round three. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Great work last round. Do not go down. You've shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight in. You're so used to fighting up to three. You've got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your full desire to win a fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Can all these shots count? Oh! All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Oh, that's a nice strike. So once again, no surprise, DC. The fighter with the longer reach able to land another punch there. Just missing on the high kick there. Big kick lands. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Just over three minutes to go. Under three minutes remain in round four. Blocks that kick to the body. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Such a fast leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear to be. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Liver kick. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Right under the elbow, body kick land. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Sneaky head kick. Wow. Nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Fighters back to their feet here. Big kick land. That one appeared to stun him. 
Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, man, he's a hard. That one landed clean. That's a way to hide that leg kick. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurt for certain. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. 20 seconds to go. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. There's no give on that leg kick. Twenty minutes down, potentially five to go. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Just missed with that right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 44 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so we hear and still tonight our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, 
and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.